nice. It's um, a very old, actually this was the original pasta factory here in, when the Italians were here. Uh, there are two ghosts in Muriel's. There's ghosts? Yes. There, you can even eat dinner with the ghosts. They have a table set with ghosts if you'd like to eat dinner with the ghosts. But as you can see, this is my favorite. People will sit up on the top, have a cocktail, and um, have a little appetizer. This is a way to graze. Their signature um, appetizer is um, crab crepes, crab or crawfish crepes. They're really delicious, like the plate clean. Now, if you want to stay, downstairs is the main dining room. What I love about this dining room is you don't have to wait till 5 o'clock for fine dinner service. You can, if you're up early in the morning and say by 3 you want a really nice big meal, you can have dinner here at 3 in the afternoon. It's a wonderful oh, place. Nice. And they do Sunday brunch. And they do serve bananas foster, which is a signature dessert yes. in town. It's moderately priced. When you walk in there, it's kind of shishi funky chick. I love it. <laughs> shishi yet, funky chick. Yes, but yet garden to table using Creole ingredients and recipes. So uh, I really love this restaurant, and it's casual, yet you feel like you had a lovely meal in there. Okay? Uh, Bildo over here is a museum now. It actually was the first bread factory of Beauregard, it was called, in 1726. And uh, right now they have the exhibits are of Katrina and um, Mardi Gras in there. Okay. And it's $7 to get in, so it's another fun place to just walk in without getting on tour buses and enjoy things. Yeah, it's always a good thing to be able to get out and, you know, see things naturally yeah you don't look like the tourists all yes, the time exactly like i do right now everybody <laughs> That's probably beautiful the inside. In here are wow. So that's definitely an idea for a wedding to come down here. And then go. Beautiful though, I can understand why. 